Outside the Bronx court Friday, hundreds of plainclothes police officers supported their own, screaming for 16 cops caught in the middle of a highly controversial ticket-fixing scandal. The officers are accused of ticket fixing, which means getting rid of traffic violations and fines for colleagues and family. Taking care of your family, taking care of your friends, taking care of those that support New York City police officers and law enforcement is not a crime. The 16 officers who turned themselves in Thursday drew cheers after they pleaded not guilty. Across the street, some Bronx residents were opposed to the police officers' preferential treatment to each other. If they can fix their ticket, they should fix my ticket. Help me out, somebody. Fix my ticket. Fix my ticket. Business as usual. Fix my ticket. Fix my ticket. The laws apply to me just as well as apply to you. Just because you have a uniform, it doesn't matter. They should get the full extent. They should they should get trialed and and, and convicted for their crime, just like if we was to get caught for a crime and convicted for a crime, that's what, that's what should happen to them. Wartaps played for the grand jury not only include ticket fixings, but also the disappearance of some DWI and domestic violence reports. A representative of the police union wants others on tape to be held accountable. There's high-ranking NYPD officials on these wiretaps. Why then? When this information was leaked out, why do you only hear union officials and police officers? Get on it. Let's go. Why do you not hear those high-ranking officers? The cops charged with misdemeanors are released without bail, but felony charges will post bail. This is Maria Sandoval for the New York Post.